Hello Kafam! Isang araw, isang pahina ng aming buhay. Marahil napanood niyo na ang aming naunang video entitled Homeschool Philippines Part 1 Setting Up. If you haven't watched it yet, we will provide the link in the description box for you to have a continuous view of Claire's new normal in learning, homeschooling. As promised, this video will share our Homeschool Philippines Part 2, The Room Tour. It has been raining for the last few days as we are still completing the setup of our simple and affordable homeschool room. Simple dahil ang maliit na kwarto na ito ay hindi fully furnished, hindi katulad ng ideal homeschool rooms na magara. Affordable dahil ang mga gamit namin sa homeschool room na ito ay mga dati na naming gamit from Claire's toys, books, school supplies, and my stationeries. We are sharing how we can make most of a little space and of what we already have without buying new ones. Pasok po kayo sa aming 3 by 2.5 meters homeschool room. One way to start a great class is having a cool door sign. If you can notice, this door sign and other prints inside the room are printed black and white dahil sira ang color option ng aming printer. Therefore, we have to settle down with the monochrome prints. We can just imagine how beautiful these are with colors. Anyways, it brought us to another task to be done, coloring them out. Look at this cute heart-shaped doormat. Anyways, let's take first the wall that aligns the door. First thing to be noticed is a table intended for the disinfectants, wipes, bag, and water. This table is the first table of Claire which was bought 4 years ago. Can you imagine how useful it is up to this day? On the wall above the table, we taped a manila paper which can be easily changed one damage and protects peeling off of wall paints due to adhesives. We call it the art wall. You can see some of the previous paintings of Claire which we also featured in our other videos. Some are old, some are new. And an art craft she made in her school, Inner Genius Montessori School Iloilo. She is excited to post more of her creations on this wall soon. This side is where we place the essential part of online learning, the computer set. It will be my nest as well in conducting online classes, checking and correcting Claire's output for the day. Because of the limited space, we position the table parallel to the wall because I need a plain background during my class. And if it is Claire's time for her online lessons with her teachers from her school, the monitor can be easily turned to her table direction. That saves time and convenience. And of course, we secured a speaker to enhance the volume and quality of the sounds to give a more enthusiastic vibes during dance, song, and interaction with Claire's teachers and classmates online. Since I will be on this chair for hours, I posted my calendar good for two months just to make sure I will not lose track of things to be done. Moving on, connected to this side is just a free wall except for the windows adding more ventilation and curtains to add accent in the room. In a classroom setup, the back wall is a good side to hang bulletin boards, but I guess there is no enough space on this wall to be able to do that. So, we will just keep it as clean as it is. Moving along, the next side has the door to the balcony which my mother loves to grow her flowering plants. I guess that helps us have a more beautiful view up here. There are available chairs as well. We love to use them while taking breaks, eating, and watching the rain. Learners can be pretty curious on how fast they are growing. 
Claire likes to check how tall she is. That's why we have these marks to indicate our heights at the start of the school year and let's see the changes in the end of the school year. That is something they will look forward to. In addition, we secured a short table just in reach of Claire, so she will be able to get and return supplies needed during the session. In this way, we are teaching our children how to be independent and organizing their things. We have here boxes of her milk to serve as book dividers, one for the learner's envelopes, a compilation of their completed worksheets, to mention meron akong sit-in na toddler. That's why you will see blocks and sensory books. Remember, keep your homeschool room simple without unnecessary things. Keep only learning materials that can help best your child at her age. These academic books are from the previous school year, which we are still using as enrichment materials as we wait for the new books for this school year soon. Usually, we are keeping storybooks of Claire at our bedroom as she also loves to hear a story before she goes to sleep. But for now, we place them here for our storytelling activity every class. Now, we can see how many new and second-hand books we've collected for years. A little space for the notebooks and pad paper alongside with a pencil, pens, and paint brushes. Down here is the trash can. Keep it clean and involve your children to throw the garbage. Lucky for us, we have an extra cabinet to keep stationaries and my makeup for my online classes. I would love to place this on my table but I don't have enough space. I guess cute naman siya dito as a decor on the top of the cabinet, right? The topmost layer contains materials that should be kept out of reach of children, like scissors and pins that can cause harm. It has as well my essentials like pens, notepads, clips, and more. At ang favorite ni Claire, stamps. One I have as a nurse and the others were bought last year. Kids feel proud whenever they got stamps so be sure to secure one to give rewards every day. We never thought we are going to use it for our homeschool. This will do until we will receive the reward stamps from her school soon. Next will be the art materials. It's better to lay them all so Claire get to see everything at one look. And at the bottom layer is the one for the paper books, envelopes, and art papers. And lastly, this wall has the teacher's ultimate guide, the lesson plan, which is more complicated than this. I just made it simple, good as a gist. This is great when you wanted to create a routine for your homeschool. It will be your guide every day until you will master the flow of your learning session. Let's turn to the focal wall. As we all remember, the front wall has the alphabet, and numbers, and blackboard which in our case is a cute whiteboard, just enough to show something to Claire during the presentation. In our case, this is the wall that can be very useful, so we hang more learning materials like posters, Philippine map, learning clock, and our small bulletin board that will feature monthly celebration. For this month of June, Happy Independence, Philippines! Another helpful part of this wall is this cork board, where Claire hangs her accomplished activities for the day. One way to help your children to learn the basics of everyday life is to make this chart. You can be more creative than us. We just use printed bond paper, plastic, and scotch tape. We use it for the date, day, and weather check. And the last part of this wall we wanted to share to you is what we call the expression wall. Your child will have a space where she can be honest and expressive of herself in her own way. No judgment. And lastly, the centerpiece of the room. These are all stuffs of Claire that's why you can see strokes of pen when she was roughly 2 years old maybe. You can add more playmats for safety purposes. And this table and chairs were purchased in Mandawe for about 1,700 pesos. This was bought two years ago and still in good shape. 
I believe it's worth its price. To sum up this video, invest into learning materials for your child if you have the capability to do so. It's going to be worth it. On the other hand, if you have a tight budget and doesn't want to spend more like us, you can always gather your old stocks and improvise to provide your child a good homeschool room. If you only have a chair and a table, believe me, it's great. Embrace and appreciate what you have. Remember, the new normal for the educational system in the Philippines will be tough on the part of our educators without the help and cooperation of the parents. I admire parents and guardians who believe and do their best to provide the education that every child deserves. Be one of them. Love, Nana and Claire.